Hi everyone, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. I hope you are having an amazing and wonderful day. We are taking a look at the time frame of July 2021. This is a bonus soulmate love reading for those of you who are interested in new love. So this would mean that you are currently um, open-minded and have an open heart and open and receptive in general to embracing new love coming in to you from an uh, individual who you've never met in this lifetime. So if you are interested in past or exes, this is not the reading for you, okay? Uh, but we are going to go ahead and take a look at some pre-messages for you all before we get into this reading. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com okay so all right let's go ahead and get into your messages so what I am picking up for some of you between June 24th of 2021 and July 24th of 2021 is going to be very um, pertinent for you, uh, you all to with a fine tooth comb, really assess the things that you value. What makes you feel valued in a relationship? How do you feel valued individually just in your day to day? Like what really is the foundation of your sense of self-worth and self-esteem? You're needing to review and look at this or look into this. Some of you, these are things that you may need to reevaluate because maybe things have changed since you have become more mature or since other experiences that you've been in. Like, say, if you've had other relationships that have, you know, helped you to notice things about yourself or notice things about relationships and patterns and whatnot within yourself or other individuals, you may be wanting to look into these type of things that you might want to change or that you might want to see differently in your relationships moving forward. So this could tie into you looking at, you know, your money in your bank account, the things that you own, that you value, that you possess, your car, your clothes, you know, other things that you put value on. How does that tie in with your self-worth, your self-esteem, your, your values, your morals, your integrity, your sense of self-respect? Now, do you place a, a high value on yourself? Do you maintain that? Do you look for other individuals when you're coming into relationships to match these um you know values and morals or do you slack sometimes and give people leeway maybe where you shouldn't be so are some of you needing to you know establish more boundaries and, and set your your um marks a little bit higher with the individuals that you're allowing into your life because that does say a lot about how you value yourself you know the type of people who you allow into your space and into your life or do some of you need to reevaluate you know maybe some of the things you've been looking at in other individual may have been a little shallow or may have been a little superficial because once you get into the the depth of the relationship you know if it, it moves along further and progresses maybe the things that you are initially um sparked by and attracted to don't show to be something that could withstand a relationship over the course of time so you're really needing to look at these things within yourself maybe even reevaluate past relationships that you have because sometimes we do need to look at the past to look at where we currently are and where we want to head to okay and so you just really need to address these things for yourself first start with yourself because it's always important to start first and foremost with yourself and it's okay to be honest with yourself and say hey i need to you know raise my standards i need to you know deal with people who are more established already who do you know do these types of things or they can afford to do this or they can afford to take me to do these things i mean you really need to be honest with yourself because at the beginning middle and end of the day it's your life you know what i'm saying no one can be mad at you for the things that you put value on and you don't want to lowball yourself and be in a situation where you're ultimately unhappy because we are really wanting to look at in this particular reading focusing on individuals who are looking for like someone to settle down long term like a lifetime partner so I feel like you want to be as honest with yourself as possible 
and for others of you there has been a close tie with past things that you're still holding on to that may not necessarily resonate now so that's why you're needing to reevaluate this i see for some of you it's a situation where some of you are valuing you know status reputation image you need to be honest with yourself because that may align most with you maybe where you currently are or where you're going to head that might be something that you need to be honest with yourself and really be like that does matter to you for others of you you're needing to focus on the day-to-day -day things so this is about you know us not us, <laughs> me and y'all, but if you were in a relationship with someone, is this someone who you could see yourself doing things with on a daily basis? Someone who you could see yourself having um, dinner with, going to bed with at night, you know, brushing your teeth with, someone who you can go do groceries, uh, grocery shopping with, someone who you can go pick the kids up with, or someone who you can share chores with. I feel like you know some of you those things are more important to you so you're going to really want to be honest with yourself and some of you you know you want to find a happy medium and balance between those two things you know you want someone who's going to be able to elevate you um someone who's going to be able to help you socially climb or positively enhance your sense of you know status in some way or or someone even who you could just work with you know um and then you're also going to want someone who you can come home to and you know continue to you know share the very intimate day-to-day -day details and experiences with each other and and, and complimentary complimentary work with someone in that facet i feel like for some of you you're you're really needing to decipher between that and also for some of you you know you're just really needing to come out of this mindset of being focused only on individuals who present themselves one way you know what I mean? And you're there's short lived lust and attraction. I feel like some of you you're needing to really see how lust has impacted your relationships before. Um, lust does not equal a wife or a husband. Lust is just simply lust. It's a short lived, short term passion. It's just a a, a burst of, you know, excitement that comes for a moment or a short period of time and then it wears off but after that does you know what are you looking for once that initial you know fuzziness of adrenaline and rush fades away what are you looking for and what do you need to sustain a long-term relationship and a long-term commitment whether it looks something more pertaining to helping you build and establish yourself um, and your career or just how you want to be seen or whether it's more intimately where, you know, the day to day things are way more important to you or if it's like I said, something in the middle between the two. But I just feel like for some of you, these are things by yourself that you're definitely needing to start with for some of you this could be things that when you come into contact with someone new that you may be wanting to assess this you know in a another individual to see like do they meet those check boxes that you've set for yourself so i feel like for some of you by establishing this now this will allow you to be prepared for a, a new individual coming into your life for others of you who have newly come into contact with someone already um when you're watching this i feel like this could be conversations that you and this individual are having you know and i feel like for some of you this is going to be a situation where you and this individual are realizing that the two of you actually fulfill these check boxes on each other's list like the two of you really have a great sense of who you are what you value and your morals your values and these things seem to align very well with this individual so that's all the pre messages that I have for you all next we're about to go ahead and get into this reading taking a look at the cards and see what the cards um, and the ancestors have to say for you in regards to your love and romance bonus reading for July stay tuned okay so taking a look at the cards the left side is intended for those of you who are viewing which we will call person a 
the right side is intended for the new love interest who you've either newly, you know, have come into contact with or you will be coming into contact with. And we're going to call this person B. However, the energies can be vice versa. So take whichever side resonates with you. Okay, or whichever messages in general, just throughout the message of this reading resonate with you. We have the King of the Keys coming up as your headspace. The Uriel and the Sphinx, number 21, which is a major arcana card coming up for person B. So for those of you resonating with the side of person A, um, I feel like for this side, um, this energy is more so focused on long-term relationships is what I'm picking up. There's a sense of... I'm getting fatherly energy, so there is a fatherly energy around you all, but you could just come off very fatherly, or you could be, maybe a lot of individuals tell you like you're a father type, you could be a father figure, um, but this also could just entail that you all are very responsible, okay? Um, you could just be a leader in your own right, um, you could be very reliable, very dependable. For some of you, this could be that um, you're either doing very well in your career, or you have a good grasp of you know, managing your finances wisely at this time. You could be someone who could be considered the breadwinner, okay? But I do see an energy of someone who is coming forward very intentional with wanting to settle down, with wanting to be in a relationship. So the king of keys in this instance is someone who has been on a journey, okay? They have been looking for their king or their queen to settle down with. And I feel like this is either you have recently or you will be soon coming into contact with someone who is going to be someone you could see yourself um, being in a long-term, stable, solid relationship, which also means that you have a very solid and firm foundation between you and this individual because it's something that the two of you are going to put an amazing, wonderful effort in to establish this from the beginning of the relationship, okay? So this is a very in uh, intentional energy that I'm feeling from you all when it comes to being committed being loyal and finding someone who shares that same type of energy with you, someone who is looking to settle down, someone who is looking to potentially have some type of traditional established type of relationship, which could entail marriage for the both of you, okay? But nonetheless, it's going to be something very traditional, I feel like for the most part, this could be the two of you moving in together, the two of you just really um, building and establishing a life that is going to be filled with comfort, something... Um, where I just kind of feel like an energy of like melding and blending. So this could be two individuals like coming together and either blending families or this could be, yeah, so some of you may have kids already, okay? Or this could just be a sense of you and this individual are going to like combine in some way, maybe like establish um, a business together or do something like joint. But I feel like th there's something um, that the two of you are going to establish together as well too, okay? That's going to be very solid. This could definitely be the purchasing of a, a new home for the two of you as well, too. But I feel like it's like someone who wants to take a relationship to the next level. And it's, it's, a, it's a very certain energy here is what I'm getting. Like this, this king of keys, this king of keys is very certain. It's like, like, I know what I want. I have what it takes to provide the means for what I want. So this could be you having the financial resources as well, too, for what you want. But you're capable of doing it. All right. So, but this also could be <laughs> you knowing what you bring to the table. So I feel like this is like you knowing your sense of self-worth and your sense of self-value of what you bring to the table. So I feel like for those of you over here, you're in a very confident energy of your, what that you are an asset, that you are valuable. Okay. Yeah. I feel like for those of you in this energy, you have a sense of knowing like I am husband material or I am wife material. Yeah. So it's already in your mind. The intention has already been set and established. And I feel like you've just kind of been on this journey, on this path, just looking for the person who is right for you. Now, the individual relating to um, person side B, I feel there's more of a mystique, mysterious type of energy going on. This could be someone who is more still, you know, learning about themselves um for some of you this is just letting me know that you have not come into contact with this person yet because the energy is so mystery it's like almost hidden it's something that is to be discovered it's almost a sense of more information will be revealed like in the right time right but for others of you if this is someone who you've newly come into contact with i just feel like this person could be someone who's like kind of secretive or, or mysterious they could kind of hold back from you um i feel like this person is on their own sense of like 
I'm just getting something like with self exploration. So this person could still be like really learning about their own self. Okay. Uriel and the Sphinx. But I feel like for this individual, it's 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 a lot of energy like with them focused on themselves. So this this could be someone when you come into contact with them that they're going to hold withhold information until they get to know you a little bit better is also what I'm getting. So there is an air of mystery about this person. I, I'm not necessarily getting that this person is like being malicious or deceitful, but I do feel like this person does withhold information um, or they're just not an open book. They're not someone who's easily like able to be read is what I'm getting, okay? Let me just clarify this individual because their energy is not giving much. Clarify your young sphinx. And uh, while I'm clarifying, um, I'm not going to show these because of <laughs> the way how I'm recording it. So I'll just tell you what I am, what cards come up when I clarify. So I got the Ten of Cups with this individual. Hmm. Okay, so the, what, <laughs> this person could just be not revealing to you um, that you may be their Ten of Cups. So this could be someone, maybe maybe they're trying to hold back to really just get a good grasp on the situation and to really just see how things unfold but i feel like inside for some of you this person already like knows that you're their ten of cups and the ten of cups just simply mean they see you as someone who they could have a family with they see you as someone who they could have a harmonious loving relationship with for those of you wanting to have kids this is someone who could see themselves having kids with you they could see themselves moving in with you i just feel like this person sees themselves as being emotionally fulfilled with you like they are really happy with you um they're really pleased with you and i just feel like like you seem to check a lot of the boxes that this individual has had um, when it comes to someone who this person could be in a relationship where they would feel like happy in like a relationship that this person would feel like blessed to have like this is the ten of cups someone feels like they have everything that they need and they now feel so like happy and they feel so blessed and i feel like it's a connection that someone really cherishes so for whatever reason yeah this individual could be holding this back i just also feel like maybe this person is just waiting for more things to be revealed and, and waiting for more things to unfold because maybe this person feels like it's so soon and they don't just want to allow this all to be um revealed at, at right now i don't know if they're wanting to make sure that they don't scare you off or just wanting to make sure maybe you are who you say you are so this person could just be um yeah, really concealing and, and, and masking this um, really well that they really are into you. Like, this person really, 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 really in, is into you. They're, they're really into you. So I feel like this could be a secret that this person is just keeping to themselves. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So look, we got the devil card here. Yeah, this person is deeply, intensely attracted to you. So there is something about you upon this person coming into contact with you or meeting you. This person knows instantly. And <laughs> I just feel this person is going to really try to play it cool that that they um, that their feelings are not as deep or as strong. But the devil is here. This person, yeah, this person has already claimed you. Like, you're theirs. So <laughs> you are theirs. Like, they already have made it up in their mind. Like, you're not going nowhere. But they're not going to tell you this, though. They're not going to let you know this up front. They, they are not going to let you know this right away because this person wants to see more i still feel like this person wants to see more but I, I also feel like this person knows instantly that you are someone who they are very deeply attracted to you are someone who they can see themselves settling down with this person definitely wants to move to the next phase of a serious relationship with you but they're not going to let you know that right away because i also feel like this person this person could just be waiting to just see more because i feel like this could have something to do with maybe things in the past that this person has experienced or dealt with um that they may have not shared yet as to their like worries or fears so it's like they don't want to get carried away too fast because there's still some energy of someone still tying the past to now right but i feel like there's something in them that alerts them right away you are someone who definitely meets everything that they are looking for it's almost like this person is feeling like what did you do to this person like what did you do to me Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 person <laughs> this person is so into you and it's so crazy. It's so it's kind of cute, it's kind of funny, but it's just so interesting like like this person is just going to act 
like they're I'm not saying that they're not gonna act like they're interested but their their feelings are way deeper than what is sh they're showing on the outside like w if you look at this card Yuri on the Sphinx it's a statue it's not moving right because it's a statue um it is just what it is so this person could come off just very like unreadable that could be the thing this person is just you're not able to read them um, I don't think this person wants to be read personally um, not at this point in time I feel this person could just want to maintain that sense of like control because um, with the devil coming out anytime I see the devil coming out I still feel like you know there's a sense of someone who likes to maintain control in situations so I feel like this person don't want you to know that you have some type of control or power over them at the moment and that's why they're just trying to keep it to themselves you know how they how deep how deeply they feel about you they might let you know yeah i like you you're cute or whatever you know they might say some stuff like they're like yeah you're cute or whatever <laughs> or yeah i'm interested or sure you know sure i can i feel like they might try to like just give you enough to to let you know that they're interested but they're not letting you know like how deeply they are into you that's what i'm saying they are deeply into you now as far as how you are viewing this individual we have the ark of covenant so you see this as someone who is very significant in your life with the ark of covenant wow you're seeing this person as right off the rip like someone who you have a soul connection with wow oh my goodness and this individual how they're viewing you we have the seven of scrolls in intricacies and industry so this person looks at you as being very um like you could be all about your business you could be all about your your um I feel like you could be very business oriented so someone could see that you're very business oriented someone could see that you're very serious um someone could also view you as you know very taking your uh, taking your time um to invest in a relationship so it almost seems like the both of you are kind of like interested significantly in each other but it's like you're you're trying to pace the connection because i feel like it's for this reading it's like almost an instant like connection and recognition between you and whoever this is but it's like the two of you don't want to either be the first to say something or you're really just trying to pace yourselves in the connection to not get too carried away okay um but i do feel there's like definitely significant deep profound interest the Ark of Covenant on person A side is letting me know that you all feel a deep connection with this person. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate. This is a significant soulmate. And you see this person as that. You see this as someone who you're meant to be with. Like you literally see this as someone you're meant to be with. Wow. Wow. Okay, for some of you, this individual, something clicks for you where it makes sense either why someone and you didn't work in the past for you to start this relationship. That's how significant you see this connection with this person as you are realizing that either it makes total sense why you and such and such didn't work out or why you and your past relationships never worked out so you can meet this person. It's almost like you're seeing like you were led on this path destined for you to meet this person. Or something intervened in some other connection and, and made you separate from someone else in order for you to meet this person. This is a divine significant connection is what you're saying. You're definitely seeing this as something very significant. Very spiritual is what I'm seeing. A very significant connection. And for others of you, this also could just be signifying like it, it like all the heartache and heartbreak and the pain that you went through, like it was almost worth it for you to get to this person. That's how profound you're looking at this person already. You get what I'm saying? Like this is beautiful. Yeah. Some of you feel like this is someone who you manifested. We have the Ace of Cups clarifying the Ark of Covenant for you all. So I definitely see you see this person as someone like, I don't know, some of you almost missed out on this opportunity with this person. So it could be like a sense of you're, you're feeling like, I'm glad I gave this opportunity. I'm glad that this person, it's almost like, I feel like for some of you, you missed out on an opportunity with this person before. So this could be some of you having a second opportunity to either introduce yourself to this person, to get to know this person, or to make your sentiments, your feelings 
aware to this person to offer your cup of love to this individual i feel like for some of you there definitely is giving because i'm looking on the bottom of the deck after shuffling that card i got the four of cups and the six of cups that together is ten of cups there's definitely past life energy here with you and this person and the four of cups is letting me know that someone missed out on an opportunity with someone before but someone is looking at this as an opportunity for a fresh new beginning with someone who they could see themselves having a ten of cups with so essentially you're you're seeing this person as your ten of cups as well too and it's almost like you knew this you knew this prior to you making your um feelings known to this person it's like you knew this before so if, if this is like someone who's been a secret admirer for you like you knew when you first met this person that this was someone who you wanted to be with but you just never you know said anything to this individual at the time and if this is just someone who you're first coming into contact with and you've never you know set eyes on this person i just feel like there's an instant recognition of like feeling very comfortable familiar with this person and you're so glad that you didn't miss out on this by whatever situation you had to walk away from or that ended for you to meet this person is what I'm seeing. It's almost like a sense of you feeling like that would have sucked <laughs> if I missed out on this person because this is who I'm supposed to be with. Like I, I know I know I'm supposed to be with this person. Like that person who I was with before, I thought I'd love that person. I, th I thought I was supposed to be with that person, but no, this, this new individual, no this is someone who i'm supposed to be with this person i truly love like i feel like for the first time maybe some of you are feeling like i thought i knew what love was but no i really love this person and then this individual with the intricacies and in industry card i'm just clarifying okay so yeah i just feel like this person wants to take it slow even though they want to rush it's like this person is trying their best to take it slow and take their time getting to know you they're 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 wanting to do things like in a more traditional sense like i feel like they picked this up about you um because you're coming up as the king of keys so it's like you know they're trying to follow your lead or follow your suit or just follow the type of energy that you're giving off and it's like they deep down inside want to rush things but they are trying to like really pace themselves and take take their time getting to know you and really establish um like roots in this relationship and this connection with you but i feel like inside this person is like all in and they're they're ready to like they're ready to move things along with you like i just feel like both of y'all just deep down inside know right away that this is different than any other type of connection that you had and there's almost a sense of like urgency that the two of you have deep down inside like something that makes you want to rush this along but i feel like the two of you are also trying to learn from like past relationships and incorporate those things into this connection and do things a little bit differently i also feel as well too maybe the two of you could live um in different locations so i feel like as well too this could be some type of um sense of you two trying to establish a sense of like how are you going to see each other or maintain your relationship because i do feel like there is some distance so this could be talking about um planning to see each other okay now what is blocking this connection we have the buddha prepares on person a side which is number 13 major arcana and then on this person b side we have the three of keys the chess game okay so the buddha prepares person a side this is for those of you who are having to wait so there is something that you are needing to be patient for the buddha prepares tells us that something is not quite ready yet and the buddha prepares it's almost like a divine time energy and at the right time things are going to be ready for this to come into fruition or for like in this card the buddha prepares is sitting quiet he's waiting he's sitting still he's meditating he's getting clear he's very in touch with his mind body and so right in his spirit so i just feel like there is and, and these individuals could be waiting for this person to speak right but notice they're also like t following suit and they're patiently waiting for this individual as well too and they are essentially like mocking and imitating this person so there's some sense of energy with you all on this side there's something about you being a role model right now whether this is just a role model to your community whether this is just a role model to maybe, like I said, if some of you are fathers and you have kids. So I feel like for some of you, you could be trying to make sure that you're setting a positive example for other individuals who look up to you, okay? So this this could be something that you're needing. It's almost like an energy of you being mindful. You're being mindful of how you come off. You're being mindful of other individuals who look up to you, who are watching you, Um so there could be some type of significant energy around you all too. Um, it's a very responsible, mature energy as well. 
but I also feel there's just some sense of you just kind of being mindful of the way that you proceed in a situation and it's also an energy of someone not wanting to rush something there's it's this energy of knowing that you don't need to rush so maybe there's a deep knowing within you or some type of inner confidence maybe for some of you as well too um there could be a sense of uh, this is giving me like sexual energy so this could also be maybe the two of you maybe this is like you letting this individual know that you're not going to have sex so this could be like maybe some of you are practicing abstinence maybe for some of you this is due to religious or spiritual reasons or this could just be some type of belief set that you have and it could be like you're establishing um, right away in this connection like that you are wanting to wait to have sex with this individual and you're not going to rush and have it intercourse with this person right away now like I said for some of you it's because you're a role model um, for some of you it's just your belief set you know and you just want to do things this way so that could be one of the things you're waiting for that could be the block in the connection like it's like an intense connection between the two of you but I feel like those of you resonating with this side there's going to be this this sense of you feeling like you're going to wait like I'm like you're going to practice like waiting and holding off and not just rushing into the, to having um, intercourse with this individual in other instances this could be something else that is taking place that you're needing to wait for and just be patient but it's a very calming energy so I don't feel like I don't feel like it's uncomfortable is what I'm saying I feel like whatever this is that you're being Either you're being asked to wait by this individual for something or you're having to wait patiently for other reasons. But I feel like whatever it is, it's something that's doable and you're comfortable because there's a sense of knowing that this is for like the best, whatever it is. So say for instance, say for instance, for some of you, because this individual has the three of keys for what's blocking them. They have the chess game, the chess game card and this that can sometimes entail that someone is dealing with disputes okay this could be legal disputes a lot of times this could definitely be situations with family okay so if this person is dealing with family familial disputes let's say this person is dealing with someone who they have kids with or an, a spouse or, or ex-spouse or something like that this could be you seeing the situation from a higher perspective a higher awareness and realizing okay I know it's in my best interest to be patient and wait and because I know that whatever's going on um, like it's out of your hands you get what I'm saying like you know that there's nothing that you can do to rush the process if this is a person going through some type of legal situation you know that there is nothing that you can do but be patient and wait and you know either support this person or just not add any unnecessary stress than what this person is already dealing with and going through as well as just not bringing unnecessary un uh, stress and burdens onto yourself you know what I mean like what like why get mad about something that you can't control you know or just something that is the right thing to do so like, like if this person is in the process of divorcing it's like well you you could feel like it is the right thing for you to do to not officially be involved with this individual because of your belief set you may feel like okay well when I deal with someone I want to be with someone who has no attachments and ties to someone else so if that entails me having to wait to a specified time until this is completely done and over with for this individual well then for some of you it's like okay well I'm going to maintain that sense of integrity um, within you know myself and I'm going to hold off you get what I mean and I just feel that might be the best thing for you to do in that instance um, because that's what you're doing so I don't I don't feel like this is a I don't feel like it's a hindrance like I don't feel like it's coming up in the sense of like the hangman type of energy where it's like a weight but it's like it can be uncomfortable because you're unsure you seem to be very well enlightened about what's going on so this could be a situation where this individual is keeping you abreast of what is going on in their situation and that puts you at some sense of ease and comfort to know okay well I know this person is dealing with this I know this person will be you know has this going on and this could be the time frame or the dates that this person is working with that are already you know in the works for something to be finalized or for some final you know closure on their end for whatever they're dealing with whatever it is like it doesn't necessarily have to be um you know dealing with the judicial system or dealing with another spouse or something like it could even be like if this person is going to move like let's say this person wants to relocate to where you are then it's like okay well you know this person needs to sell their home or they need to like finish up at work or even if this is like something else like a work obligation or some other obligation that this person has um outside of you know having to do with dealing with other individuals um that could be negatively impacting it in a sense you know what i mean where it's like people who don't want to let this person go or disputes it could be something just in a sense where someone is having to 
you know, work things out so that they can make their next move. So this is someone essentially who's strategizing over here on how to proceed and move forward what is going to be in the best interest of you or for themselves or for the situation that they're dealing with. I feel like someone is, you know, they're making plans and, and they're strategizing, all right? So as far as the action that you want to take towards this individual, we do have the Four of Forces, which is representing that spring energy, and the energy on their side we have number six the divine position which is a major arcana so i feel like the action you want to take um this definitely is you're open to looking further into this situation you see this as someone who you could see yourself um you know establishing a connection with um and getting closer to this individual i feel like you are open to seeing where things go the spring card talks about you know planting seeds right so maybe for some of you as well too you know depending on who you are and how deep the connection and ties this could be even for some of you all looking into like fertility options you know what i mean w between you and this individual this could be the two of you talking about starting a family of your own um is what i'm seeing here in some instances so i definitely see for some of you this is some serious talk where you're like definitely you know putting that out there about you know this being someone who you want to either give <laughs> have your children or someone whose children that you want to have so i feel like for some of you, you could be having a talk you could be having a talk about you know wanting to establish a family and when you will be starting that and then the divine physician over here um i feel this individual i definitely feel like the divine physician talks about some type of healing type of energy over here so the action someone wants to take uh, we do have heal a healer type of energy maybe someone needs to go to the doctor they may have a, an appointment that they need to do they may have to get a health checkup um this could be the both of you you know agreeing to take healthy steps and healthy actions towards your sexual life your um or just like your health in general you know what i mean like starting to establish like healthy healthy lifestyle habits so let's say for instance if you are deciding that you want to conceive right this could be the two of you getting on board with starting to do things that are going to put you in a healthy frame of like physicality to conceive and i'm hearing naturally so for some of you who are wanting to do this this could definitely be you maybe setting up an appointment to go to the doctor consulting some other type of physician or specialist um who specializes with fertility or pregnancy and things of that nature um this also could be talking about you know the two of you just starting a workout regimen being very much more mindful of what you're consuming maybe starting to drink more water or you know just get really into things of that nature so for some of you this definitely is the two of you um heavily being focused on um like health and fitness i'm, I'm seeing for some of you so for some of you this could be pertaining to you know the sense of you wanting to be in your healthiest um i just i'm hearing mindset but also like physically as well too for you to have a baby so maybe some of you as well could be going to like therapy okay this could be therapy that the two of you are deciding that you want to go to to get healthy for each other and for yourselves individually so you, the two of you could be deciding that it's in the best interest of the connection and the relationship for you to both undergo some um therapy and then um this also could entail for some of you you know starting to implement like like physical workout or um the way that you eat to get into the perfect body shape for yourselves that um is going to put you in the best optimal format for you to conceive or to to give birth or something like that right so i definitely see some of you are on track with someone who definitely matches some sense of energy when it comes to how you look at your physical fitness and your physical wellness i feel like that is like priority on the both of your lists and that's a beautiful thing so it's like nutrition and physical fitness and even i'm getting just like like your mental awareness so whoever this is that you know for the two of you that you're coming into contact with like this could be something that the two of you value that the two of you share you know being in your best you know health wise mentally physically you know emotionally spiritually being healthy you know for um a foundation for you to establish some type of relationship moving forward whether that is for the two of you to start planning on having a family or just you feel that it's going to positively affect your connection you know the two of you establishing this together i like it 
I've never seen that before come up in a reading. Okay, so with the two of you taking these actions towards each other, the best possible outcome. Oh my goodness, we have this Akashic Library, right? So I definitely feel like this is like rewriting your own course of life, your life path. I feel like this is like the two of you, the steps and measures that you're taking is definitely going to put the two of you in a position where you are co-creating together to get on the same page and put intentions together that are going to positively affect the both of you. I see this as the two of you working really well together and it's like you're on the same you're on the same page about the things that you want to establish moving forward. So I see for a lot of you, you could be doing a lot of planning, okay? You could be sitting down with each other, and this is going to positively affect the future. The two of you could be um, really just kind of looking ahead and planning ahead, and this is going to just make it so that a lot of things are very clear for you, so you know where you stand with each other, so you don't ever have to worry or question um, each other's motives or how you feel. I just feel like whatever it is that you two are establishing right here and right now, it's going to positively affect your future. And it looks really good, especially for those of you who are really considering going into some type of therapy right away or counseling um, or, um, you know, really developing your physical fitness. Um, it looks to really positively be paying off, especially for those of you where it's like this is something you're intentionally doing to establish something new when it comes to like prior to what you were raised in is what I'm getting. So this definitely could have something to do with you setting new um like re resetting something in like your family lineage and your family history how things were done previously i feel like this is the two of you like turning over a new course of life but it starts with the two of you because the two of you have went through things that have put you in these life paths to come across each other but also to to be more intentional and to be more mindful about what you're creating being accountable as well too Definitely, if you come from, let's say, unhealthy or dysfunctional families, um, this is being more intentional for the type of family that you two want to have and establish. So I see the two of you really getting very clear with this from the beginning of the connection about things that are really important to you all. And it's positively going to affect you all by being very clear, upfront, and honest right away. Because I see the two of you working together, and you're positively going to be able to um, work together and help these things come to be. Let me just clarify it. Yeah, I feel like the two of you, it's, it's positively going to help you all. And the two of you definitely share a sense of emotional maturity and emotional vulnerability that really matches each other so the two of you are very much in sync so this is going to i just see the intentions that you set it's going to kind of be like easy for the two of you to, to get on the same page with each other because the two of you definitely like have it's almost like the same temperament you have the same type of moods the same type of um emotional energy and the two of you both feel with each other that you have someone who you can rely on for that sense of emotional support maybe that, that the two of you always have looked for but i see the two of you establishing as well too especially like if this is something that you've always desired right i see the two of you establishing this like really setting the pace and the, the the groundwork to really be in sync and to really make sure you understand each other to really make sure that you are compassionate with each other that you're kind to each other to really make sure that each of you are capable of feeling the love that you desire and i feel like it's not going to be hard with the two of you setting intentions with each other and being very intentional like it, it really just shows that the two of you are going to be very like emotionally open with each other and it's just so beautiful so it's just going to positively set the course of your relationship and you're going to see the positive rewards and benefits from this because the two of you really seem to be very loving towards each other it really does it really seems like you found someone who really speaks your love language someone who you can easily communicate with and someone who just is emotionally mature or just so emotionally like open receptive and nurturing that each of you really have always desired it's like someone each of you feeling free to like be who you really are like like <laughs> sensitive yeah 
like be sensitive with it's like someone who you can express your your sensitivity with and they're going to get you they're not going to judge you they're not going to use it against you it's like someone who's going to support you and someone who's going to it's like they're going to encourage you to speak up they're going to encourage you to tell them how they feel or to tell you how you to tell them how, yeah tell you tell them how you feel like it's, this is going to be encouraged by each other is what i'm saying like the truth you sincerely want to know like how are you doing today how was your day what can i do to be better you know what i mean like i feel like the two of you are going to really be like vulnerable and honest with each other like that and just real like invested in the emotional well-being of each other i see that just being something that's very significant for you all but i feel like it's really going to positively set the course because it seems like this is something that the two of you have never had before that you've always been looking for i feel like this is something potentially that the two of you always have presented in other past relationships but it was never um reciprocated back to you so you you all may have potentially experienced growing up and just attracted to you or were maybe initially attracted to individuals who were emotionally like detached but now it's like with the two of you you don't have to worry about that because the two of you are on the same page so you're definitely going to get what you have been giving in those previous connections or what you never had um when you were growing up yeah oh this is so loving i love it but those are all the messages i have for you all if you would love to book a um, private session with me. My website is www.divinelotustarot.com.